Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and uh, following the uh, Gigabyte uh, video I know that some of you might actually wonder how do I go into my UEFI BIOS if I want to go and check it out or change something. So um, this is for Windows 11 and the next video will show you for Windows 10. So there are three ways that you can get into the advanced boot options because that's where you need to go um, if you want to go to the UEFI BIOS. Now, one of them can bring you directly and it's an F key that might be pressed when you start up your PC just before Windows starts. It doesn't work on all PCs. A lot of PCs, it just doesn't do anything. But you might actually on some models actually be able to go there by pressing an F11 or F8 or F2. Uh, it's, it varies from PC to PC. Some it's the delete key uh, depending on the model, depending on the manufacturer, it's one of those keys. And in some cases, like my PC, nothing works. So how do you have the other option? Option number two, when you actually go to your start menu and go into the power, before you press restart, hold down the shift key on the left side of your keyboard. On some computers, both shift key work. On some computers, it has to be the left one. So hold down to the shift key on the left side of your keyboard and then click restart. This will bring you to the advanced boot menu. Now, that option, although will work for a lot of you, doesn't work for everyone, once again. Is there a universal way of doing it that works for everybody? Yes, and it's the option I'm gonna show you now. Start menu, settings, go into Windows Update, down go to the advanced options and down you will have recovery here you will see advanced startup restart now you click the restart now button this will restart your pc once it's restart you're going to be here where do you go from here you choose troubleshoot next you choose uh, advanced options here you continue in here you go to UEFI firmware settings next you have to restart it's gonna tell you you want to restart ch to change UEFI firmware settings restart and it's gonna bring you to your UEFI firmware now mine is like this yours might not at all look like this each manufacturer has its own thing so depending on the manufacturer you have this will be different and all the options that you can change and modify are in here. So that's how you get to your UEFI BIOS in Windows 11. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching my videos.